Hi, this is Dr. Don. I want to show you a problem 5.1.37 out of my stat lab. And it has to do with uh, a tire manufacturer and some claims. And you're given the mean and the standard deviation of the population of the tires. And then you test 16 tires and get the following lifespans. And you're asked to create a histogram and then answer some questions, including find the mean and standard deviation of your sample. I want to show you how to do that because a lot of students have a problem creating a histogram that matches one of the options in the questions. And that is because uh, my stat lab and, and Lars in particular have a very, very stringent process for creating histograms that you must follow. So let me show you how to do that. First thing I want to do is to click on that little rectangle and open this data in StatCrunch. And then we're going to go to Stat, Summary Stats, Columns, because our data is in a column. Select the column. And then I want to get some statistics. We need, I think we need the mean. And I'm just going to play it safe here and uh, get a bunch of these things. But I need the... Uh, min and max. I've got mean, variance, standard deviation, standard error, median, range, min and max. That should be good enough. Click Compute and I've got that information there. I think one of the questions was what is the standard deviation and what is the mean and we can see there we've got the mean 36, 136 and the standard deviation 6221.7. So that's that answer. But let's do this a little different. I'm going to click on Options, Edit, and this time I want to click on Store Data in a Table, and I'm just going to select three things this time, the range and the min and the max, and click on Compute. Now I've got this information. I've got the range from the min and the max, and then I've got the min value there. So in order to create our histogram, if we go into Graph, histogram and we can select our data but then we want to build the histogram that matches and if you just click compute leave it optional you will get something that's got not the right shape and it would lead you to pick the wrong one there and the reason for that we didn't specify how many bins and we didn't tell it where to start so I'm going to go back and let's look at our data here. If we take our range of 23,674 and it says that you need to have five classes or five bins. So let's go here and we will go to data, compute, expression, build. And I want to take my range, double click that to load it put in a divide by five because we've got five bins and click OK and click compute. So there we've got, I'm just going to click this out of the way there, we've got our width of our bins if we have five bins or five classes. 47, I'm around that 4735. And so we go into our options here on our histogram, edit again, and this time, let me expand this so we can see things a little bit better here. This time, we want to go down here and click on bin start at the minimum value, 23,964. And our width is going to be 47,35 because we want uh, to be precise here. And then we click Compute. And now we've got another histogram there with five bins. And lo and behold, I do believe it does match the correct answer there. So you, that's how you've got to do that in order to uh, make your histogram match the standard way that MyStatLab and Larson want you to build them. So I hope this helps.